All right, Coach, team record their fourth straight win today. Stayed unbeaten at home, albeit in ugly fashion, I'm <laughs> sure, as you would say. Uh, let's get started with an opening statement. Yeah, I was proud just how we, we ended up kind of holding on for the victory at the end. I was not thrilled with our, most importantly, just our effort in the first half. I knew this was... Um, a situation that could happen coming off Wednesday's game. People logged a lot of minutes. You're going right into finals. Um, we tried to prepare as much as we can to kind of soften that blow a little bit. Um, had some different lineups up there to see who could bring us energy. That third quarter was big. We finally defended. Um, we took away some of the things that we had been talking about in preparation. Uh, it took us till the third, qu third quarter to do that. And then luckily we, uh, the clock ran out and we had enough, uh, enough time to hold on for the win. Coach, you've depended on the three-pointer a lot this year, one of the best teams in the nation in terms of shooting percentage from behind the arc. Um, only one today. Um, How do you find other ways to score during the game, and when did you realize that maybe it wasn't falling from outside, and what did you tell your team? Yeah, give Jacksonville State credit for that. I think they guarded the three-point line very, very well. They had bodies on Lauren again. Um, we knew that we were going to have some more opportunities inside, 1v1 one, one one inside in the post. Um, but, but I think we can do enough that we don't have to always maybe score as many threes as we did against uh, IUPUI on Wednesday. Um, the three ball does negate a lot of things if you can get a few more of those. But it's nice to see when it wasn't falling. I mean, we only got seven shot attempts on from three um, that we were able to obviously find ways to score inside. But there's going to be nights like that where you don't have the, the three-point line to, to help you. Um, you know, Leah didn't get a ton of looks. You know, they didn't allow Lauren to get free like she was doing earlier in the week. Uh, but it's nice to be able to find a win, a way to win um, in that situation. Their defense really thwarted Lauren a lot in, the, in this game, but she was still able to find ways to get points on the board just by her assists. Uh, she had a great day of dishing the ball. Yeah, and, and we've, we've talked to her a ton about that, and she's really bought in that she doesn't always have to do it all herself. And obviously on Wednesday night, she was pretty incredible from a scoring side of herself, but she's learning to trust her teammates. She's learning every defense is geared towards her and finding, you know, she's only 5'3", and she's got big bodies around her trying to find her post players and and, you know, every day we watch film about that. Like, how can you make that pass into the post? How can you make the right decision? And she got a little down on herself, I thought, tonight with just, uh, I think a little bit was f some fatigue. She didn't have that motor. But what I was proud of her when she came back in the second half, uh, when I took her out, she was full court pressing. She was, you know, trying to will her team to win. Um, didn't hang her head, was great on the bench. And, and that's pretty special for a sophomore to be able to do that. Megan Galloway just seemed unstoppable at times on the offense. And uh, just her, her offensive output and game has improved so much. Yeah, she's being efficient right now. And just we've we've talked about just giving her the ball when she's inside. She's got a big body. She's she's really developed some pretty good post moves, led by Coach Goldsbury helping her out with that. Um, but that's seniors. Like Molly and Meg, what they're doing night in and night out. And you know, if one's off, the other one's ready to pick it up. They're playing with emotion. I was not happy at halftime. And I, I kind of told them, you know, like they got to figure it out by the, you know, the upperclassmen. And, and, and that's special to have a group that, you know, doesn't wither, doesn't, you know, fall apart and they were ready to come out in that third quarter. The well, finals coming, you guys have a 10-day break here. What are you most looking forward to getting on uh, as you get in the office on Monday? I just think it's great for us to have a little bit of time now. And, you know, our kids are so driven on the academic side. You know, we, I just told them in the locker room, like, we – we survived the three games in a week. Now it's all about um, doing well in their finals and their projects, and we're going to give them a few days just to kind of do their thing that way, and then we'll kind of re reconvene kind of midweek. Uh, the good thing is we have some time. Us coaches will get on the road recruiting a little bit more. Um, but I'm proud of where we are from a non-conference side of things, uh, and then we'll get some practice time to work on, add some things, work on the things that we aren't great at. Uh, the great thing is we're not even close to peaking, obviously, <laughs> after today. Uh, so it'll be good to finish up with, with two more non-conference towards next week. Appreciate it, Coach. Congrats on the win. Thank you. All right, questions for Megan Galloway. Um, you had a great game today, not only offensively, but defensively you were often put on the, the other team's leading a scorer and probably most difficult player to guard, Raven Pearson. How was it guarding her for, for a lot of the game? Uh, she did a really great job. Um, you know, she kept doing, she kept going to her right hand every time and Unfortunately, we really didn't stop her the way we practiced, uh, so we got to learn from that. You know, me personally, I had to learn to, you know, defend. Um, so she was she was good to play against. Uh, it's good to play against the strong physical people, so that was fun. Tell me about the improvement in your game, Megan, because obviously the offensive uh, flow of your game has improved a lot over the course from last year to this year. Tell us, tell us about how you've worked through that improvement. Um, you know, what's really great is that you know, Lauren sees everything. Um, so you got to be ready to catch all of her passes. Um, 
And then our coaching staff has done a tremendous job of instilling confidence in each and every one of us and really making the post a focal point because she knows that we can have a presence inside. So, and also too, it's just, you know, your role and you got to do your role to the best of your ability. And when you work hard, things just fall into place sometimes. Home court advantage, maybe people overstated a little bit at times. You guys are now 4-0 at home. How good does it feel when you get to come in your own building, you know you can defend it, and then taking that back on the road? Yeah, being home is great. Um, just being home for classes, uh, you get to rest more, you get to sleep in a little more for shoot around. Uh, it's great. And carrying that into our – we have a 10-day you know, break, but taking that into Indiana State, it will be, be good. Any more questions for Megan? Cool. Thanks, Megan. Thank you. Yeah.